All right. Well, welcome, Paul Martin, to the podcast once again. Adam, great to be with you, man. Thanks so much for having me along. No, no worries. I'm excited. I'm I'm so excited that we're you know like just reaching out to Australia again and and have something to do with you guys after so long. And boy, we've missed the place. Yeah, you yeah. Know, we've just been really, really looking forward to getting back there. Yeah. Well, I mean, the last time we spoke was actually 31st of March, 2020. So just as all that stuff happened. <laughs> The something hit the fan, something, something, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Dude, that was you know, just an epic nightmare for, for everyone in rock and roll, I guess, and, and so many other industries, of course. But, yeah. um, you know, the worst worst two years for, for rock and roll and living memory, easy. Oh, yeah, for um, sure. And, yeah, I mean, like every other band, we just had the rug pulled out from under us and what do you do? Yeah. You know, exactly. 10 days away from, you know, um, debuting the, the Red Album in Europe and the UK. And yeah. then it was back here to tour New Zealand. Then it was Australia. But, yeah, you know, things happen and yeah. Yeah, it's just one of those things. But, hey, look, we're excited, man, because we're coming back. I know. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's excellent. It's a couple of false starts and everything, of course, you know, just trying, trying for everyone's from the governments to line up and for things to come right. But, um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all going, man, and we're so excited, really excited. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. Yeah, I mean, because last time we did speak about the album Red, which just came out, uh, I think, that 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I'll do, I will uh, put the post on the, the show notes so everyone can go back to that one, check it out, all about what oh, we yeah. spoke about, about the oh, album. that would be awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah. Legend. Thank you. Uh, but but during that time, now uh, since I spoke to you last, I've had a thousand listens to the album. Just love it. Oh, cool! It's still oh. still like yeah, you know, one of our best albums. That's great. Oh, thanks, man. Like no, we're super proud of it, and we feel like we kind of really didn't give it the um, the attention it needed because of you know the whole COVID thing, the world closing down. It the the, the album kind of got just squashed by everything, and we didn't get yeah. the chance to get out there and purge ourselves by by playing these songs live because it's cathartic for us you know the songs all come from deep places and you know we're just really excited about how we put the whole thing together and uh, uh, you know we want it to be an experience for the listener so it's, it's a trip listening they don't want to take it off they put it on and play it right through to the end you know yeah exactly um, yeah so, you know, that was important for us to tour it, obviously, and, and you know, having the wind taken out of our sails like that was, was freaking hard. But, I mean, what do you do? You've just got to sort of hang in there and do it when you can. So, I mean, we're as excited now about um, bringing Red to Australia as we were when we recorded Red, you yeah. know. We're, we're still pumped. <laughs> we've just yeah. been in a holding pattern, you know. Yeah, that's right. So when did you guys go back into doing gigs live again? You took, went back a while, didn't you? In, yeah, there. we had a brief stint, I think it was October. We got out and about. Um, we did a New Zealand tour with Cora. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was October, November, I think. And um, that was a lot of fun, man. It was, it was heaps of fun. That, um, great band. And, yeah, we got out and about in the country and, and played a couple of new songs as well. Um, and then we, we did one um, gig at a motorcycle festival called Kickdown in Fongamata, which is in the Coromandel Peninsula. It's beautiful there, gorgeous beach town. And um, they um, put together this three-day motorcycle event. They want a New Zealand version of Sturgis, you know, and sort of we've got a sort of bit of a hookup with Harley Davidson and, and Hamilton here. And, um, um, yeah, we ended up riding men. Nail and I rode our bikes on stage. <laughs> it was just this really cool freaking buzz. Harley Davidson had sponsored everything, and it was just really exciting so we, we finally got in this festival oh, and part of it was a uh, you know so 280 or 290 kilometer ride around the Coromandel Peninsula as well so there was about you know maybe um three or four hundred bikes doing that and um yeah and it was like two days later bang shut down the country was shut down into red light and so bang everything stopped again so it's, uh, it's just it's been hard to plan you know being in a band you need to plan yeah, months yeah, in yeah. advance and there's just none of that going on these days so we just sort of fingers crossed we're ready to go and we're, we're still itching and, and and like i say super excited to play these songs yeah well i mean i really can't see anything happening this time i mean i don't know but you know i really <laughs> i really hope this all goes ahead oh it's gonna man it's gonna we come and come hell or, or, or high water we're gonna be there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it hopefully because i get back early that morning so if it all goes to plan i'll be i'll be at the gig <laughs> Right, oh cool man. Nah, you you will be. And um yeah, it's Max Watts, isn't it, Melbourne? Yeah, that's right. So Max Watts. Oh, 
dude, legendary venue. We're just stoked to be, you know, wow, that's going to be cool. Last night of tour, like I say, and, you know, Shepherd's Rain are joining us. And yeah. I don't know if you've checked them out, but I they are I freaking look. cool. We, we toured here with them. And um, so much fun. And they're, they're all huge Polynesian guys with giant afros, and they are super imposing on stage. And the music is like, Traditional Samoan music meets Gojira meets yeah. something even cooler, you know. It's they're just electric on stage. So, you know, we put our foot down and we, we want to take these guys with us if we, you know, when we get Aussie. Oh, yeah, let's go together. So, so they're doing the whole whole tour, aren't they? In Australia? Yeah, yeah, they are. yeah, yeah. So we're stoked. Um, neat bunch of guys and hectic music's good. Really, really good. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think they're going to blow, blow some audiences away. We're all about it. You know, we just want the audience to have the best time possible. And I haven't got the list yet, but, um, you know, we've got a, a pretty high octane sort of um, bunch of local acts uh, that, are, that have been applying for the, the opening spots as well. So, oh, cool. man, yeah, way cool. Really excited about some of the acts. I can't, I can't divulge who they are just because right. I don't know who's been picked, but I'm excited, man. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's so many great Aussie bands that I've missed out on seeing, you know, yeah. for a couple of years, as everyone has, I guess. But Oh, I'll look out on the Facebook pages. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and about that, about that. So we got hacked about uh, just over a week ago. Our oh, Facebook no. page. Someone sneaked in there through our manager's um, account somehow and got into our Facebook page, and they're just slaughtering us with these women. Well, they removed all of us as admin, so oh, we're wow. totally powerless. Our, our, they've changed the, oh, the yeah, they've changed everything and. Um, We've just been trying to find a human at Facebook to communicate with. To yeah. let them know. <laughs> We've oh. been hit. And they're posting all these bloody Netflix movies oh. and clips and, and all this crap all over our page. And it's getting spammed with all these other spammers as well. So uh, we're absolutely gutted at the moment and um, doing every, everything we can. But so we're pointing people towards the Devil Skin Instagram page at the moment so we like get. It. Till we can resume normal transmission. Yeah, That's a yeah. freaking nightmare, man. There's these blooming auto bots at Facebook, but you just can't get past them and, and yeah. say, dude, it's like, you know. And they've, yeah, they've really made a mess. So, some naughty little hackers somewhere. No, if you ever catch up with them, I'll tell you what. That's it, yeah. <laughs> have to get the shepherd reins onto them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Too right, man. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's our yeah. It's it's been a real bitch couple of weeks for us um, with with the social media getting compromised like that. But yeah, when you do, it's like every every other adversity you come against in rock and roll, you just whoop, you know, whoop, weather that one and uh, strap on your guitar and make some more noise. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, now I must ask you. I know you guys have been touring some of these songs, and I've got my favourites. Um, so actually, I'll go through the songs and I'll see if you do play them live. So the first one is "Do You See Birds?" Yes, yes. <laughs> Can't wait to hear that one live. It's going to be so. Cool. See, that was the last song we demoed. Thirty songs for this album, and that was the last one that made it. And I was fighting tooth and oh, nail for it. And our producer wanted it as well, and the other guys were, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Then once we'd recorded it, and Jenny put her vocals down, I was like, Yeah, okay, yeah. let's open the album with it. So yeah, yeah that's, that's that's a must have. I mean, we're playing most of the album. Be, oh, really? Be, Honest, yeah. Oh, cool. We'll probably, yeah, we'll, just about every song on the album will we'll be played it. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. good. Well, yeah, like I said, that's I got three of them here. I mean, they're all yeah. great songs, but these are my yeah. favorite. Yeah. Go for that it. That one, I've got uh, the Victor. Yeah. And be like the river. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, I mean, <clears throat> so two things. Um, the Victor. That's that's a true story about it. About a car accident we came across. So, um. Yeah, basically we'd written this, the music and then a couple of days after witnessing this traumatic accident and, you know, we're on the side of the road holding other people's bleeding children in our arms waiting for an ambulance and it was, yeah, just horrible, just trauma. So, you know, that song still brings brings us, gives us all goosebumps and stuff like that and um, it's just a, a powerful song to play and I think we all feel... A little bit purged every time that 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 we play it because yeah, it was it was horribly no one died thank goodness but um mm. it, was, it was pretty traumatic um and yeah be like the river there, there's something about that song see that must have cut for the album be like the river oh really yeah because we demoed something like 28 songs for that album you know 
And that was one of them. We all wandered on, and then we sort of dem- we demoed it and went, ah, oh, it kind of, kind of wasn't working. And then, you know, just didn't quite feel it. And so, you know, we worked real hard to, to get it how we wanted it, yeah. put it on the album Red. So we've got a bit of the theme going with, with We Rise, the song not being on We Rise, the album, mm-hmm. and Be Like the River, the song not being on Be Like the River, the album. So I think we can expect the song called Red on the next album. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, there's something about that because it's it's kind of got the swagger of its own. It's a, it's different to every other song we have. Be like the river. Um, I mean, the message is about staying true to your heart and, and getting through adversity, and it's, it's a positive, uplifting message. Mm. Um, but the music's got this bluesy sort of swagger that we don't yes. really have in any other of our songs, and it's so much fun to play that. You know, it's a shitty day, and we all get in. Everyone's had a crap day at work, and you get to the rehearsal room, and it's like, <sighs> what should we do? Hey, let's do be like the river, and we just play that and just we're instantly yeah. buoyant, you know. It's just <laughs> uplifting for us, so yeah, it's, it's a great song and, and fun to play live, too. Yeah. yeah, well, that goes to my next question. I was going to ask, do you have any favorites like you, you play live? Oh, it's really hard. Um, it is really hard. Do you see birds as a personal favorite just because it's flat out and it's a yeah. throat punch of a song, you know? So it's like, um, it's it's real killer to watch. Um, people's jaws drop you know uh, when they hear Jenny um same life is a lot of fun to play live that riff just sort of is like a machine gun yeah and when, when we get in the groove it's just um also bright lights we're playing playing that um and that's again it's a big uplifting song and it's it's like a big theme so um I don't know I guess it feels like a different level to the other songs just yeah. just just the way it was structured and everything. And um, Nick actually wrote the music for that. And oh, cool. Jenny wrote the lyrics about being homesick when we're in Europe on tour and mm-hmm. missing a family at home. So, uh, you know, again, it was, a, it was a poignant thing to sing about. But, um, I mean, the song Endo, I like we released that before the album came out as a single. But, I mean, that was about Jenny's experience with endometriosis. And, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, it was, it was pretty... Uh, a pretty awesome of her and brave of her to, to, to be able to talk about it. And mm-hmm. when we, when she wrote the lyrics, we were like, Oh, isn't that, Oh, that's a bit blooming raw, isn't it, Jen? She goes, that's how it is. Mm-hmm. And then when we decided to record it and I got the vote from you, Hey, this, this endo is the one, you know, it was like, wow. And then making a video for it, Jen, you sure you want to do this? And she's like, totally hundred percent. People need to be made aware of it because it's such mm-hmm. a huge thing. You know, so many women suffer from it. So yeah. So those, you know, it's it's each song that we that we play has got a sort of important message to us, yep. and um, we, it's just yeah, it's cathartic. Like I say, for us to be able to play these songs, it's like ah man, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, no, that's great. So do you know how long the the show is? How long you, you set will be? Um, we we uh, haven't had official word, but we're just going with playing for like an hour twenty or something like that. So um, yep. hopefully it's a bit more. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to run over there. It's all up to the venues and the curfews and things. But um, yeah, yeah. Like, like I say, there's going to be three bands on on the night, and you know we we go all out to make sure that the audience has a great time. So that's why we're bringing Shepherd's Rain with us, and and why we had this awesome shortlist of amazing Aussie bands to join us as well. So um, yeah. yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, have you heard the news uh, from tomorrow? Like, there's no more check-ins, or you don't have to be vaccinated to go to a club or anything. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Is that everywhere or is that everywhere but Western Australia? Oh, I know just in, in Melbourne, but I'm not sure. Oh, in Melbourne? Australia. Oh, fantastic. Um, oh, man, people will be just, great. yeah, buzzing. You know, we need that co- We need that connection with each other, eh, you know? Yes. And, and music, you know what it's like when, when you're in a room, no matter if it's, you're playing your own songs or someone else's, but you feel that that love when everyone's yeah. just on the same frequency and it's just that it's, it's uplifting, so... Um, yeah, being yeah. denied that for a couple of years has been really tough on people. Oh, for sure. And we've seen it here with our like women suicide statistics and, and stuff like that, you know, mm. depression and, and helpline and all these all these women services that are there to help people getting snowed under because just so many desperate folks out there. So I think, you know, music really helps Yeah. Um, a lot of us. It's, it's always helped me get through, you know, dark times and stuff. I've got my I've got my favorite go-to artists and I just climb inside those albums and just you know yeah. enjoy them for what they are you know yeah yeah well I know a lot of there has been you know, a lot of musicians as well being out of work because 
I mean, yeah. everyone's got their own reasons, you know, about not getting vaccinated and everything. But, you know, one of my best friends, he hasn't. But at least now he can actually get out there and play and enjoy life a bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this whole segregation thing, over the medical segregation didn't sit well with me at all. You know, it's just yeah. wrong on so many levels. And, and, and it was horrible to see, you know, social media, well, not media in general, um, you know, feeding people's blooming nastiness about it, you know, oh, yeah. got a bit feral, they you did. know, um, and it got like you didn't want to say your status in, in front of some people because they'd go, dog, yeah, it's right. you, you know, it's like it's not yeah. worth it, man. We're still all here and we're fine, you know, it's good. Yeah. Just you, let's get on with life and, um, yeah. yeah, quit the segregation. That, that shit doesn't belong, no, no, in right. race at all, yeah. yeah. No, for sure. So I'm I'm really glad that Melbourne's opened up because Melbourne's party town. Yeah, you know, I felt we've felt we've seen it all from over here, man. I I watch um, Sky News Australia, um, quite regularly just to see what's going on in the towns. And oh man, it's just been sad that the whole lock up thing. And oh, you, yeah. you guys have had it worse than just about anyone, haven't you? I think so, yeah. And yeah, and you know that that's the that's the arts capital to me in any way of Australia. Has always yeah. has always been Melbourne. So it's yeah, it's been tough, I'm sure. So there's, I'm sure there's a lot of artists out there that are struggling and, and feeling it. And um, yeah. let's hope that it's all just onwards and upwards from here. I think so. I think from after this weekend, just everyone's going to go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's going to be hanging out, that. going everywhere. Oh, man, that's exactly what we want, you know. Yeah. God bless them because they deserve it, you know, hanging <laughs> in there for so long. Exactly. Uh, you know, it sucks having to, um, you know, just... It's, rely on your government's sort of judgment mm. over these things and nine times out of ten they don't, they don't get it right and yeah it's 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 the world politics is so freaking awkward right now yeah and mm. you know if john lennon was here he'd put it all to rights yeah. you know? <laughs> exactly we just all you need is love you know exactly. yeah. just yeah we just need everyone needs to chill out and let's get back to you know how we were and enjoying the arts and each other's company and getting out and about and, and building up these businesses again because yeah, yeah. now I lost uh, um uh, my radio show that I've had since 1987 I've had 33 uh, years and in the second week of COVID the bang the the um um the media company I was working for laid off 300 people oh wow like never waste a good crisis right and if you're in business and um yeah i was one of the casualties in this radio show the axe attack a metal show i've been doing yeah since 87 yeah and um bang that just got cut and it was like i didn't even interact with another human being yeah. to do my show you know and it's radio and it was all done remotely from a studio over here and um, yeah, there's no rhyme or reason for it so yeah i was embittered from the beginning i just thought man, man but, you know, look at how many other people's businesses are just ruined and, and mm. it's just, yeah, it's frightening. So, you know, um, I think, Adam, we just need to party. We just yeah. need to get out and enjoy some music and exactly. have a beer and put our arms around a stranger and dance a little bit or something, you know, and get some rock and roll on us. Yeah, well, I think it's going to be perfect timing because, well, it's next week, isn't it, really, you guys kick off in Sydney? Yeah, pretty 29. much, yeah, 29th, yeah. Yeah, yeah. wow. So, yeah, yeah, man, a week today. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Is it? <laughs> uh, just, just over a week. Hang on. Yeah, nearly a week. Probably yeah, a week. Yeah. Yeah. A week tomorrow. Shit, yeah. Bit of pack. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And you still got your, your son on drums, isn't it? haven't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's smashing it. He's just, yeah, he's, he's on fire. I still get goosebumps in it, rehearsal. He just sort of plays yeah. some stuff. And uh, like you, you mentioned the Victor before, there's um a drum fill that Nick does towards the end of the song, you probably blim and ear drummed along to it like I do. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's just it's just intense. Yeah. And he's just got these little pockets of, of really tasteful intensity that he chucks in to these songs. And um yeah, he's yeah, it's he's just getting more and more enjoyable to play with, you know, everyone's just really hitting their stride. Uh we've we've all been writing new stuff and we're just excited to get back in the studio when we when we've um finished the Aussie tour. That's our yeah. plan. Okay. And then get back over there for October. Oh, cool. We've got a, we've got a show with um, Seven Dust and uh, Steel Panther. Oh, excellent. That's and wonderful. a whole host of other awesome Aussie bands. Um, oh, wow. yeah, and it's coming up in October. And um, yeah, it's been put off a couple of times as well, you know. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, <clears throat> touch wood. That's all. That's all happening in October, and we'll, we'll definitely get her over, over there for some shows before or after that. So yeah, yeah. We feel like we yeah, we kind of owe Aussie because yeah, we've just been stymied every time the last half a dozen times we've tried to get there, something's come up. So yeah, and it's you know we absolutely love it over there. The crowds are awesome. The weather's awesome. The scenery's beautiful, and we just yeah. always have a good time in that part of the world. So just bring it on. Yeah, that's it. So you're just talking about the, the new song. So you, do you think you'll have a, like a another album out what, later this year or something? Yeah, we're definitely going to have a release, whether it's an album or an EP. Uh, we haven't decided yet, and it's probably going to come down to budget. So hopefully we'll sell a few T-shirts on the Aussie tour. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, we'll probably, if we do like a four or five track EP, get it out. And, you know, because we've lost momentum for the last couple of years. and. Yeah. You can spend months and months and months on an album, and and you know, like I say, we like to make it immersive, and so yeah, it takes a lot to to get it like that. And um, I think we just we just got some songs that we really want to get out. Like there's still you know a, a good dozen left over from the the sessions for Red. Mm. Um, so we've got a good bank of them, and we're all writing continuously. So it'll, it'll be a, you know a, another session of fisty cuffs over the which song gets dropped and stuff but um yeah i think just get it done get something out there quick and and then get out again and tour it yeah that's excellent well hopefully there'll be a song about those hackers yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'll write it from Real prison <laughs> i write it from prison for stabbing them to death <laughs> oh man oh seriously it's weird because you know you can't type anything that's slightly inflammatory yeah, yeah. because you get whacked within seconds you know but that's right. this it's blatant, you know. It's got Netflix. They're sharing Netflix, blooming. That's a nightmare. They've just ruined our site, and and they've been deleting our blooming um, content as well. So they've oh, no. already deleted like um, three, two or three years worth of our stuff. Mm. Oh, it's just a nightmare. Eh? So yeah, there'll be a song about those hackers, one way or another. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's good. Now, so I just want to ask you one thing. I didn't talk to you about last time when we spoke. I noticed you got the photo with one of my heroes, Eddie Van Halen. Oh, yeah. So how was that oh. meeting him? <laughs> oh, oh, dude, it was like, uh, you know, it was super quick, super fast. Like there's, there was a bunch of 50 people um, and they, they, they said, right, uh, they had this giant road manager and he comes in, Van Halen will be in the room in precisely two minutes. You know, it's like, do not touch the band. Do not shake Eddie, Eddie's hand. Do not do this. And like, everyone's sure, 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 sure. Yeah. So the band come in and you had to just stand there like fools. And then they says, right, this half of the room, get up and turn around immediately and your photo will be taken and then get out, you know. <laughs> and I was in the first lot and I just ran straight up to Eddie and put my arm around him and shook his hand and went, bro, oh, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> and uh, we didn't, you know, we just got a spot second with him, but no one told me off for that, so I was wrapped. But good, just yeah. in the same room with him. That was on the three tour with um, okay. Gary Sharon. So no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. It's yeah. yeah, going back a ways. But just to be in the room with him, even out there at, when 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 he we're all sitting there waiting for Van Halen to walk into the room, mm. when they did that, the whole energy just changed. It was like the air was just, yeah, it was insane. It was magic. He's yeah. just absolutely magic, and and you felt the same thing from out in the auditorium watching them play the gig. You know, you're you're breathing the same air as the Van Halen yeah. brothers. Like, it's just, yeah. yeah, dude, lovely, lovely, lovely folks. Um, but like I say, we only got a split second in there and then out of there, but. I'll take that photo. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, I'm jealous. I mean, we got to meet him and shake hands, but at yeah. that stage, there was no photo. It was just like, say hello, yeah. keep moving on, you know? Yeah, yeah. I know you just got to take those chances when you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I can't wait for that show. It's going to be, yeah, it's great. My niece lives in Melbourne. I haven't seen her for like six years. So, yeah. Well, hopefully we can catch up. up yeah, we will, man. Definitely. We'll catch up and have a cold beer. Yeah. Maybe a sneaky yeah. tequila. <laughs> that's it that's great awesome mate I'll be to keep moving alright thanks. thanks again I really appreciate the support no problem thanks Paul see you soon cheers Ta -da. Bye.